Eight mistakes you should avoid if you are learning to code, if you're brand new to programming. What's up guys, Clint here. Welcome to my channel, Code Commerce, and let's just jump right in, okay? So number one, I'm gonna say tutorial hell or just copying tutorials. The best way to learn a new language if you're a complete beginner is to follow a tutorial and start building small bite-sized projects. But you need to be careful. You don't want to make the same mistake that I did and what many other developers make. And that mistake is following tutorial after tutorial tutorial from start to finish. That's not really learning. When you copy code directly from a tutorial, you're not really learning anything. This is one of the main things that hold back new developers. Following tutorials will give you a false sense of confidence. It's going to make you feel like you're actually learning a lot more than you really actually are learning. If you are brand new to programming, coding, maybe you're getting into web development, then by all means, buy a course on Udemy, or there's a lot of free ones on YouTube, but buy one just to understand the basics. Once you finish that course, you're gonna have a decent understanding of how the syntax works of JavaScript or Python, whatever the course may be. You don't need another tutorial. You just need to start building small projects. You just need a decent understanding of the syntax and how the language works. Number two, don't rush through trying to learn how to code. Use repetition and get your coding reps in. Don't think that after you followed your Python course, maybe you followed a you know, JavaScript React course on Udemy, don't think that you're gonna automatically remember all the content that was in the course. At least, I know I didn't. Maybe you can learn a lot faster than I can. But for me personally, I have to practice repetition in my coding, just like getting reps in at the gym. If you want to make progress and become a better developer, you have to get your coding reps in. This will include you writing code over and over and naturally you're going to get more comfortable with the syntax of that language but it just takes repetition you're going to have a lot of questions after you finish the tutorial and you're probably going to be googling all the time how do i sort an array in javascript but you will start to notice that after you write x amount of for loops in javascript eventually it's just going to start to stick and you're no longer going to have to look up how to write a for loop in javascript it's just going to be muscle memory mistake number three is going to be not coding every day notice that these are all starting to intertwine with one another, just like getting your coding reps in. If you only code two to three times a week, then how fast do you think you're actually gonna learn how to code? To learn something new, no matter what it is, you know, programming or outside of programming, it takes repetition. At least I know it does for me. If you're brand new to learning how to code, then you know, writing some code on Monday and then not even opening your code editor till Thursday or Friday, that's not very optimal if you're trying to learn something brand new. It may not be impossible that way, but if you can code every single day, even if you only have two to three hours before work or maybe after work before you go to bed, at least it's gonna be fresh in your mind every single day. And maybe you work 12 hours a day. I Before I learned how to code or while I was in the process, there were some days I just didn't have access to a computer. So if circumstances don't allow you to physically write code in front of a computer, then listen to a book on Audible or listen to or watch YouTube videos. Do whatever you can to keep coding fresh in your mind and keep thinking about it. When I was working as a firefighter and a paramedic, I had about a one hour commute to work and obviously I couldn't be coding during this time, but instead of just time wasted driving on the open road, what I did was just listen to YouTube videos and listening to coding podcasts just to keep it fresh in my mind. Just do something to keep coding in your mind as much as possible and code as often as you physically can. Number four, avoid switching programming languages, at least as a beginner. So this is something I had struggled with a lot as I was beginning and as I was just starting out. I followed a lot of tutorials and what ended up happening is I just ended up bouncing around from tutorial to tutorial, language to language, and I wasn't really learning much. I learned HTML and CSS first. I know these aren't programming languages, but when I first started coding for my job, at the time, I really only needed to use HTML and mainly CSS. The first line of actual code that I wrote outside of HTML and CSS was actually in PHP. As a beginner, I started working on content management systems, and for the most part, my job just required that I do a little bit extra styling with some CSS and maybe add in a little HTML here and there. My first tutorial I bought was actually in PHP and then in JavaScript and then in Python. Python. And my advice to you is to not do that. Don't try and learn three different languages all at the same time. If you're brand new, just start learning JavaScript or start learning Python, whatever the language is, just pick one and just stick with it. The fifth mistake to avoid if you are just learning to code is gonna be stop copying and pasting. Just don't do it. Not at first, at least. 
What do I exactly mean by that? Well, if you don't know how to perform a certain task in JavaScript, for example, then of course you're gonna have to turn to Google, right? And let's just break this down into something really simple. Maybe you are brand new to learning JavaScript and you don't know how to loop through an array, for example. So you go to Google and type in, how do I loop through an array in JavaScript? Ah, okay, copy, paste. What did you actually learn by copying and pasting how to loop through an array in JavaScript? You didn't learn anything. You just copied it instead of writing it out. What you did was, Press Command C, Command V to copy and paste it into your code editor. So type it out by hand. Don't just copy and paste it. At least not in the beginning while you're still trying to learn and you know make this stuff second nature. Over time, this is going to build muscle memory as you type it out. It's going to build the connections in your brain. You're going to start to notice that the things that you once used to Google, you now just type out naturally because it's muscle memory. This circles back into getting your coding reps in. A sixth mistake to avoid if you're just learning to code or really senior developers as well is not documenting and not commenting on your code. This is something I never really did in the beginning, admittedly, when I was just starting out learning to code. And personally, I think it could have really helped me out a lot. I think it's often overlooked and it's something that I always heard people say, yeah, document your code. And I was just like, yeah, okay, whatever. But now I'm one of those people saying, comment on your code. Sure, I was still able to learn, you know, pick things up and you know, learn how to code, but I feel like this really could have helped me learn a little bit more quickly. A good practice if you are new is to over comment your code. I recommend this for a few reasons. Number one, circling back to muscle memory and getting your reps in while you're coding. After writing a certain piece of code, if you comment right above exactly what that line or function is doing, it's gonna help solidify it in your brain. Number two, it's just considered good practice. As your application scales, or you start building larger applications, including multiple functions or files, things are gonna start to get confusing. Writing comments above your code is not only gonna solidify solidify the learning in your brain, but it's also going to help keep you organized and help you remember exactly what maybe that specific function is doing. In addition to remembering what you wrote that code for and also solidifying in your brain by writing the comments, it's also important for other developers to know what that code is doing as well. This is especially going to come into play when you start working on a larger team of developers. A seventh mistake that people might make is not learning from other people's code. If you don't already know this yet, then in programming, there are about a thousand different ways to do the same thing or you know at least get the same result. Maybe I might be over exaggerating just a little bit, but you get the idea. If you ask 10 different developers to write a simple app, maybe a to-do app, for example, they're all going to be very different. Some may be simple and some may be overly complicated. I found that it's been really helpful reading other people's code and having an understanding of other people's thought process of their ideas can really be insightful and help you improve on your own coding. An eighth mistake if you are new to programming is stop comparing yourself to other people. This is something I personally have struggled a lot with. Having what we have at our fingertips with the internet is so awesome when it comes to learning new things, but it can also have a negative impact on us as well. We all have different strengths and abilities and we all learn code in different ways or learn anything in different ways for that matter and at different paces. If you're in your late 20s or your late 30s, for example, and you're comparing yourself to a 21 year old kid, maybe he just got a job at Google, that can be discouraging. And that can make you probably want to give up coding. If you're 35 trying to learn how to code and this 21 year old just got hired at Amazon, that's discouraging. There's a saying that comparison is the thief of joy. And what that means is essentially, if you compare yourself to other people, then you're never gonna be happy and content with where you are. All of the tutorials and the videos I've put out, like while I'm coding, these are all built out in advance. There may be a, you know, a day's work that goes into a two hour video. So don't get discouraged comparing yourself to other people, especially on the internet. Cause when it comes to the internet, Things that you see are very rarely what they actually are in real life. And don't be a dick either, by the way. I've seen some pretty rough comments on Stack Overflow and YouTube comments, whatever it may be. And this is just people trying to spread hate and negativity. So get out of here with that shit. We all started somewhere. You were there once too. If you're a senior developer, you were there once too. And if you're just starting out, there's a lot of great people out there that are really willing to help. So just don't listen to the negative comments. That's all I have for you today, guys. Smash the like button and leave me a comment. I love talking with you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.